welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the psychic medium. <laughs> the beginning of the show, <laughs> even though I do it twice a week, is always ridiculous. I'm hitting the wrong buttons, which because I'm reading questions right up until I go on air. So there's that. Okay, you guys, here we go with the show today. Um this is going to be a good, good show. I can feel it already. So a couple quick things. If you'd like to call in and ask a question on air, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. If you would... And it, please remember to hit the one. That's where I was going with that. Because if you don't hit the one, the hand doesn't go up and... I don't know you have a question. Second, if you are watching live on YouTube, thank you. Thanks. Um, you can put a question in there. Now, here's how the show basically works. For those of you who are new and even those of you who are returning, I go back and forth between questions in the uh, on the call log. I'll answer a question on the call log live, and then I'll go into a question on in the chat. So if I missed your question, I'm not ignoring it. I don't think it's boring. I'm not um, anything like that. I just may have missed it because the chat now is going to go really fast. I mean, it's going to start flying. And so if I miss your question, just please repost it. And there's no people, people, there's no guarantee I'm going to get to anybody's question. Um, don't be upset if I don't get your question. It's not personal. I have one hour to do the show because it does air on TV and it's a, one of the shows is only a 30 minute slot. So they only play the first 30. Um, but I have, I have only one hour and so if I do not get to your question, please don't be upset. Don't take it personally. Just come back during the next show. If your question is super duper important that you need an answer right now, you can schedule an appointment. I'll be happy to answer all of your questions during that appointment. Okay? Okay. Alrighty, I'm going to start with, oh, don't be scammed. If anybody reaches out to you saying they be they are me, they are lying. I don't reach out to anyone for any reason. Um, so please don't be scammed by anyone. Okay, I'm going to do names and then songs or songs and then names or the combination of both of them together. So are you ready? Um, the first name is um, Luis, L-O-U-I-S-E. The next name is Penelope. The next name is Penny. The next name is J J Jerome. The next name is Devante. The next name is Lila. The next name is Maurizio. Wow. <laughs> he says Maurizio. <laughs> okay, the next, I need to quit. Um, the next name is... Um, Marisanda. Okay, the next name is Peter. The next name is Joy or Joyce. The next name or both. The next name is Esmeralda. The next name is Guadalupe. The next, you guys, I could not think of these names if I tried, like seriously. The next name is uh, Jennifer. The next name is Michael. The next name is um, well. It, it's not. I don't know if this is well. It's a name, but uh, Hindu. That's a H I N D U. That's all I'm getting. Okay, now I'm going to. Now the name could be your name, their name. Um, a loved one on the other side's name. Alejandra is coming through. Um, Michelle, my bell. That song, but it's also a name. I love when that happens. I just love it. 
Okay. Next, we are going to go to the songs. Now, this song, this could be a song they loved, you love. Um, it could also be the answer to a question that you have right now, or it could be a confirmation your loved one is with you. So, Michelle, my bell is the first song. Um, the next song is that song, um, Come Together Right Now over me that song the next song is <laughs> and i could have just said those words but i really wanted to sing that <laughs> even though i can't sing i know i can't it's okay <clears throat> uh the next song is um oh that song all we need is love all we need is love. I don't know. I'm not getting any other words to that. Um, the next song is, um, I think it's still that come together song. It's here come old flat top. He got something, something. And this song has been on before. So just so whoever that is for. Okay. The next song is, um, I'm giving it two more seconds, and if I don't get another song, we're gonna work on. I hear Nirvana, which I always hear for the show. Um, we're going to we're going to move on if I don't hear a song. <laughs> it's that song, wobble with it, wobble with it, wobble. Yeah, yeah. I can't I can't even pretend to try to sing that song. But if you know it's for you, it's for you. Um, I'm going to do one more song and then we're going to move on with the show. The next song is um, Oh, Living in America. James, I think it's by James Brown, Living in America. I, I'm pretty sure it's by James Brown. It's that living in a man. I can't, I can't get the beat of it. Well, I can't get the beat of any of the songs, but typically I get um, a little bit more to the song than that. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start with callers and then I'm going to go to chat. Please have one question available. Um, <clears throat> and uh, make the question question clear and concise and um yeah i'm gonna go to 860 860 what's your name and where are you calling from hi tony it's lisa marie from connecticut and i had a private with you last week and everyone is magnificent but i forgot to ask for a message from my parents okay lisa marie um Bobby. go ahead i'm sorry my name is Bob and Joanne. Bob, oh my gosh, the, that's the name of I think I, I, that's the name of um, an uncle and an aunt that I have that have also. Let me get into their energy, love. Okay, so Lisa, the first thing they want to say to you is, of course, that they love you and they're with you and they're helping you through whatever it is that you're going through right now. They also want you to know. Um, I know that either. <clears throat> Excuse me, everybody. Is this for me? Okay. And this is for the next. I know this is a bit of a way off, Lisa Marie. I, I know it. But um, it Christmas is going to be spectacular. So whatever is going on by Christmas, everything should be spectacular. It should be in the right place. And you should be moving in the direction that you want to move into and everything should be unfolding beautifully by Christmas. That is given the fact that you take the steps you need to or want to take. Don't procrastinate is what I'm hearing from them also for you. Don't procrastinate. Um, and then... <laughs> I 
I'm so sorry, Lisa Marie. I know what they're going to say, but I'm going to show you the way they're, I'm not going to show you, oh Jesus, no. I'm going to tell you the way they're showing me. All of a sudden the song, you can dance if you want to, you can leave your friends behind because if your friends don't dance, then they're not friends of mine or some something like that, that song came in. So what they're saying is just dance, dance through your kitchen, dance through your living room, dance in, well, maybe not the shower, but just dance. It's going to change. It's going to exponentially change your energy and make everything like they're showing me. It's like a, when a dog like bumps its head or something and it shakes it off, uh, that's what dancing is for humans. Okay. So just like dance that old energy off and dance yourself right into a new frequency, a new vibration. And, um, uh, and then, <laughs> and then they're playing that they're singing that they're giving me that song. Let's kick it. And there's this could go into two songs, but it goes ice, ice, baby. <laughs> that song, <laughs> which is hilarious to me because oh, I know. Oh, you're laughing so much. I can't understand that sentence. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. That song, ice, ice, baby, too cold, too cold. And I'm laughing because, like, I could, I would never even just think of that song, but, um, <clears throat> Those are the songs that they're giving me for you. And they're just letting you know, um, just have fun with life. I think that's their biggest message for you. And keep moving forward. Okay, love? <clears throat> can I just ask one thing? Can you tell me Yale or Hartford? Am I going to Yale or Hartford? Yeah, <sighs> it feels like Yale. It feels like Yale. Now, you yeah. have free will and choice. You can okay. change yeah. that. But as of right now, everything is Yale, okay? Everything is going to be Yale, okay? okay? Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. God bless you so much. Thank you. You are so welcome. Have an amazing rest of the day. And thank you for calling in. Remember, everybody, I'm here every Monday at noon and every um, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central. So Heather, Heather is in the chat and that's going to be the first um, thing I'm going to take today as far as a question. And I did a clearing for everybody on the show already, but we're going to do some more clearings with this thing that Heather has. Um, so Heather has been in a relationship and this relationship has been very... Um, difficult for Heather and she has been trying to get out of it for quite a bit of time. And so one of the things I'm going to do is um, start clearing. Uh, we can, we can let go of what's no longer working for us. So let's clear that. And we can let go of relationships that are no longer healthy. And I get a no on that. So we're going to clear that. And um, I'm going to also, and this is really important, I know I've done a TikTok clearing on this, but I'm going to do it now and here for everybody. All manipulation has been healed, cleared, released, along with all that caused it and kept it. And we're going to we're going to clear that. And um, here's the thing. When we know that someone is not good for us and they start to manipulate us to keep us with them, well, they know they're getting the better end of the deal. They know that they are absolutely 100% losing a good thing. Otherwise, they would have just let us go. And one of the things that I try to gently say to people all the time is, if the tables were turned, they would not think twice to walk away if it was in their best interest or if there was something they really wanted um, or something else came along, they would walk away without thinking twice. But because we're, you know, empathic and, and we're sensitive and we let guilt and manipulation make our decisions for us, we end up Years later, still repeating the same cycle, listening to the thing. And Heather, in this case, 
And in many cases, when we're dealing with people who have either substance abuse or they're just manipulative, even if they don't drink or do anything else, they're just manipulative and they want what they want without caring what we want or caring to make the situation better. You just have to block them and never look back because they will keep you in this holding pattern for the rest of your life. And this might, the way I say this might be shocking to people. We're not here for anyone else. Everyone is responsible for themselves. Everybody is responsible to take care of themselves, to heal themselves, to fix themselves. We can offer guidance. And if we're healers, we can offer healing, right? Um, but even psychiatrists, psychotherapists do not work on their own family and loved ones for a reason. If somebody truly wants to change and be a better person for you, there are so many resources and ways they can do that. And if they're not changing, you just have to, if only one person on the boat can survive, it must be you. Because you have enough common sense to see that the boat is sinking and it's not a good boat in the first place. It's very difficult. I don't say this lightly. Okay, I've been in situations that were so difficult to leave and then I never ever wanted to be in another relationship afterwards because it was so painful and so difficult to get out of that situation. Um, so I don't say it lightly, but what I will say is when you're in a relationship with someone and those dynamics are unhealthy or they are toxic, the dynamic of the relationship and or the person, which if the person is the relationship is, it is sucking the life right out of you and you have to. You have to save yourself first, especially if you have children, because if you have children, you're showing them unhealthy relationship dynamics and you are it as difficult as it may be. This is a full grown adult you are dealing with, and that person can definitely take care of themselves and be OK on their own. They don't need you. They just want you and they don't even want you for the right reasons and whatever they feel the time they had with you was a gift not an obligation and that's with anybody any place at any time yes it hurts to break up but if you get to be with someone that time together is a gift if you start looking at it or using it like you're looking a gift horse in the mouth, then you no longer get that gift. Nobody is obligated to be with and or stay with anybody else, even if there's a, a, a wedding and a marriage. There is nothing in this world that says you have to stay with a person, especially if it's an unhealthy relationship and or dynamic. And I know a lot of people will say, well, you're supposed to make it work. Don't you think we tried? Don't you, don't you think that one of the people was trying the whole mother friggin' time to make it work while the other person was sitting on their morals or their ego or their pride or running the streets? expecting us to make it work don't don't you think that at least one of the people in the relationship was trying to make it work and that's why it lasted as long as it has and now it's just time to throw it in the trash and walk away and just because that person says they want to make it work now doesn't mean that doesn't mean do diddly boo because what they say and what they've done over the past couple of years, what they've done is who they are. What they're saying 
is how they get you to stay so they can continue to be who they are. So save yourself and your children. That's it. That's it. That's all you can do. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller, and the next hot caller is 203. 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Michelle calling from Georgia. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Um, I'm good. Um, you, um, you're, you're a medium. You, you contact, um, like my mother died a year and a half ago. I was wondering if I could ask if there were, was any advice or messages from her. Okay, what's her first name, love? Her first name? Yep, your mother's first Connie. name, love. Connie. Connie. Okay, just a second. Okay, so the first thing I see is there are two women here. One's a little fuller and one's a little um, like normal size, whatever that means for your world. And I'm going to tell you that they are both, they're together. They're very together. So either it's your mom and your grandmom or your mom and your great grandmom. It could be an aunt, but I feel like it's it's a grandmom. Um, I'm also going to say say that they're both uh, uh, they're both with you a lot. Okay. Now, do you have a child, a daughter? I do. Okay, good. Thank you. So they also, and, and I need to, so if you're, okay, when, if your daughter is still young, it's still there, but when she was young, she could see the older woman all the time, like the grandma or the great grandma, whatever it is, she could see her all the time. Now that she's a little bit, it, is your, well, how old is your daughter now? She's almost 26, but yeah. she's 25. Okay, thank you. I'm going to tell you, when she was young, she could see the other side very, very clearly and see everything. I mean, everything on the other side. As she became a little bit older, that kind of subsided a bit. Um, that could reopen for her again and it could reopen like all at once it's not something that goes away it's something that is in us and we it's like a door that we open and or close it's not a gift from the outside it's something each and every one of us is born with and we we facilitate it or we do not okay uh, <coughs> excuse me i'm gonna tell you your daughter could open that door. If it opens, here's the thing with your daughter. I don't know why this is where they're going with the message, but they are. Um, if your daughter reopens that door, it will open wide open just like it was when she was very young. No in between. It's either shut or it's wide open and she'll see like everything. Um, and, and then in her doing that and that being touching you, it will also strengthen whatever gifts that you have. Now, one of you, at least one of you has been asking for this. I'm getting like, you're like, I wish I could, like, it could even sound this, like, I wish I could hear my mom. I wish I could see, like, I wish I could communicate with with whatever it could be just to communicate with one person but when it opens it's going to be like floodgates flying in and the, there's nothing external stopping it typically what closes the door for people is fear like we're young and we see something that scares the bejesus out of us and then it shuts it down or closes the door and then we think, well, that's gone. It's never coming back. But if you like, even in, I'm going to say this for you and everybody else listening. If you do do like a little, 
uh, close your eyes, take some slow, deep breaths in, and then imagine a door in your mind. Oh, did everybody see that flash of light as I'm saying this? <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Um, you, you see your mind and you see a door and you just push that door open and take it off the hinges and throw the door. It will be open. Now, be aware of the fact you can you can later on tell tell them i don't show me this don't show me that but i this is the message they're bringing okay i'm just i'm just gonna stop it there and i'm gonna say this is the message they're bringing i hope this might not be what you called for but this is what they're giving you for you and your daughter and i hope it makes sense to you and if it doesn't that's okay it will and that is what I have for you. And I, I hope that this was helpful. Okay, it's great. Yeah, I'm, um, she's, she was, you know, definitely was, I think, a little sensitive to things when she was younger. So it should be interesting to see what happens. Yeah, and, I, and again, once it opens for her, I feel like it's going to open for you. And it will be an amazing like a really amazing experience for both of you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. Thank you for calling in. I'm here every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at um, 7 p.m. Both of those times are central. You can call in 845-277-9131 to ask a question over the phone. Or put one in the chat. Hey, Patrick, how are you? Miris, Carm, uh, well, who is that? Car Carney? Carney? Hey, Carney. Um, I need to go up a little bit in here and just try to find the last place where the, the questions kind of let off. So I'm going to do that as uh, best I can. Stephanie, I'm just going to start with Stephanie's question. If you did a question before that, I apologize. Hi, Tony. I have a question. I started a new job recently. Would you be able to tell me if this is the right career path for me? Okay, Stephanie, is this the right career path for Stephanie? Yes. You're going to change... Um, there's going to be a change coming. You're you're starting off, um, Stephanie, in the right space, but it's going to it, it's going to. You're this is the beginning, not the end. Okay, so whatever you're doing right now, it's going to uh, give you possibilities, and you will be able to um, expand or jump into the next step. I hope that makes sense for you, Stephanie, but where you're going right now is good. It's a good like starting space is the way that I would um, say that for you, Stephanie. Um, so I hope I hope that's that is very helpful for you. I'm going to go to 417 417. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, good afternoon. My name is Linda. Hey, I'm Linda. calling from North Carolina. Hey, Linda. How can I help you today? My thing is, if I can reach out to my dad, he's passed away, and it's been like over, way over thirty years, and it just doesn't feel like I he's around, or is it, or is it just me? No, no, no. What's his first name? Love. Vincenzo. Vincenzo. Okay. So the first thing I get is I, I'm going to tell you once somebody passes over, we have, and the, it's been a bit of time. Um, it's our thinking of them that helps us feel them. They can always be around, but we, it's our intention and energy that we give to them that brings them in. Okay. So that's the first thing. The second thing is on the other side, they also evolve just like we evolve here. And so uh -huh. when we need them, I'm going to tell you, okay, so when we need them, they're there, okay, and we'll feel them, okay, especially like around holidays, yeah. we feel them more strongly. But here's the thing for Vincenzo, he's always in the car and he wishes you would play different music. <laughs> 
that I was going to wear. <laughs> He's always in the car with you, in, in the, the vehicle with you. Uh-huh. And uh, he wishes you would play different music. He wishes, he, <laughs> like the first thing I hear is that old time, I got that old time a rock and roll. The kind of music that moves the soul. Okay, so that's, he wants something a little bit more meaningful on the radio when you're in the car with him. He wishes, because he's he is always, no matter what, you get in that vehicle and he is there with you, taking off with you since day one, always driving with you and making sure... Um, you're safe uh, sometimes trying to uh literally like drive for you okay love so just know always 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 yeah. so if you turn off the radio and you just have conversations you'll start to feel his energy in the vehicle and then but also if uh -huh. you put on some old school music for him uh -huh. he would adore that he would yeah. really really appreciate that okay love does he have any messages for me? Yeah, that that is, is that is the message he's giving you. That he's in the car with okay. you and that he um and that if you could play different music, but he is always with you. Like your your original question was you didn't feel him as much. I think that was your original. It was your original statement. Um uh but the the message is he's always with you and he's in the vehicle with you and he is very much um, attached to you is the way that I would say it. Um, so that is what I would say to you. Now, I'm going to say this. I know I, there are a lot of new people calling in every single week, and I always forget, you know, I don't always do the whole intro, but I'm, I'm going to do it now. If you're calling in 845-277-9131 or you're in the chat and you're asking a question and you want to connect with a loved one, and you want a specific message from them, please ask that question right away and I will do my best to get that answer. Otherwise, whatever they give me is what I'm gonna give you. And because there are so many people calling in and in the chat, I, I limit it to one um, question <clears throat> and one answer. So once I've given that answer, just due to the fairness of everybody else, I'm not going to go into a whole second thing, but you can schedule a private appointment with me and then we can spend the whole time getting messages for you. And you would do that at my website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. I'm going to go to the next uh, question. Hi, does my grandpa Gary have any messages for me? Okay. And again, like when it's something like that, any messages, I'm going to give the first thing that comes through. And your grandpa Gary is definitely saying, Trisha, <clears throat> Trisha, your grandpa Gary is saying, don't settle. There's something that either has recently come in or is coming in. And it's uh, either within the past six months or the next six months. I get six month time frame and I'm hearing do not settle. So if this were like a, let's say somebody's coming in that wants to date you, I'm just using four examples, not for reals. Um, don't settle, make sure you're getting, you know exactly what you want and you're going for it. If it's, let's just say for example, Trisha, a job, don't settle, don't take it because you think something else won't come along. You can take the position, but don't, don't stop looking for what you really want and what will be the best thing for you in the long run, okay? That is what your grandpa Gary is saying to you. Definitely do not settle. Um, and even if you're already in something and it doesn't feel right or it doesn't feel like it's going in the direction you want it to, it's okay to look for something else. Just because we decide to go down this road, when we find out the road needs construction or is under construction or there's big, huge potholes or whatever it is, we can switch roads. We can get off this road and get on a better road. Okay, that's what I'm getting for you. I hope that makes sense, Trisha. I really do. <coughs> 
<clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to go to 516. 516, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Kavita. How are you? Hey, Kavita. Have you gone to Greece yet? Hi. No, you have not. Oh, uh, my God. What's going on? No, I'm going May. In May. May. Month, okay, so excellent. Have what? Time. Yeah. But what I wanted to know today is um, I have a dentist, and I have a question. Should I change to this other dentist? The initials are BG. I don't want to name, put his name on the... Um, uh, on online, um, but he, Dr. G, would he, he be better dentist for me? No, he wouldn't. I'm getting a no right away, and I'm getting like a okay, kind, kind of a uh feeling. Um, in his really, oh wow, I, wow. I'm sure he's okay, sure. fine, but just not what you would be looking. You would be really disappointed if you went there. Okay, that's the oh, that's good to know. So the person I have now, Dr. S, he's pretty good. Just, he's fine. Um, I do feel like if okay. you want a different dentist, one will come in in the May time. Okay, so May time. Okay, whether that means yeah, maybe I just have some issues. Yeah, with the dental practice, like their billing, uh, I just feel like they just bill more than they should. You know, things like that. So it's uh, yeah. So that's why I asked. Okay, um, here's what I'm gonna say. Uh, that that could be accurate. That could be. What I'm going to say is you're going to find somebody in May you really like. Now, maybe okay. you're in Greece and something comes up and you end up going to a dentist there and you find out like a lot of the things you've been doing or whatever. Or in May, you're going to meet somebody, a dentist in your area and you're going to get, if it's in your area, I feel like there will be a referral from somebody to this particular dentist. So you'll know you can trust them. Okay, Kavita? Okay, great. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. You have an absolutely amazing rest of the day. And thank you so much for calling in. Beautiful. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I am going to go to, hey, goodness gracious, Terry T. Um... Jay Francis, my boss, oh, God, boy, talk about catching me off guard there, Jay Francis. My boss died last week fairly suddenly, wondering if he will come up in names and songs. Did he? I, I don't know. Uh, Luis and Penelope, Penny, Joyce, Jennifer, Michael, could all be mine. <laughs> well, a bunch of them came up for you, Jay Francis. I skipped down. Um Here's what I'm going to say that your boss, you know, even without his name, I'm going to tell you he, one of the things that he is saying is uh, spend more time enjoying life. Uh, in your off time, do you do what you want to do? Live, live, just, just live, just find a way to to enjoy. And then he I'm hearing that song, what's it all for? You know that if you if you listen to um that uh I I get I can't hear any of the other words. I'm just hearing that what's it all for? Something studios and something something something. Uh but it's kind of a rap song, but it's it's a, a, the point is like have a good work life balance. Patrick knows how to do that. I mean, Patrick, you are amazing from what I can see at having um, a good work life balance. Oh, Patrick, you're back. That's awesome. Welcome. Welcome back, Patrick. Welcome back. Okay. Um, Jay Francis, I hope that was helpful. I'm going to go to the next person who I believe is 610. 610, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Uh, this is uh, Sonia. I'm calling from Pennsylvania. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much. How can I help you tonight? Today. Beautiful. Before I continue, I wanted to point out something. You have a live event. This is Daytona, February 2nd. That's on the website. But it's not the full URL. Okay. I cut off. So that event happened already? Um, that is, I should take that off of there, but it, it already happened. That event is over now. 
Right, no, I just wanted to mention that as well. I don't know, kind of just wanted to point that out in case somebody else wants to go there. Oh, okay. Thank you. But anyway. So how can I help you, love? <laughs> um, I just wanted to call in um, about a relationship that, you know, ended because my partner of eight years cheated on me. And she moved out uh, it was sometime in December. Um, and then she, you know, kept coming back a few times and to the point where I am, you know, I'm not communicating with her anymore. And, but surprisingly for my birthday, I received a, um, a card and a letter, uh, where she's apologizing and terribly sorry. And she's sent me a text, um, e-card as well. I did not respond. I'm not responding to her basically. But I just wanted to see, you know, what you're picking up about this. Yeah, a lot of, I have so much sarcasm for her. And I'm going to try to hone it all in and be a little bit nice. Um, so she fucked around and found out, first of all. Sorry for the swears, but this is an adult show. Um, and you know what? Who cares how she feels? Like, I'm sorry not sorry. Who cares? Who cares if she feels badly now? Who cares if she feels like she wants you back now? Who cares if she realizes she made a mistake now? Because you know what? That was not a one time. Che I'm uh, mm. Cheating is never an accident. Cheating never just happens. Like your clothes don't just fall off when you meet someone. There's a lot of steps people take to cheat. There's a, there's the whole like, unless you meet somebody in a bar and hook up in the bathroom, which still decisions are being made and and your partner is being completely forgotten about in those moments. I don't care how you feel right now, ma'am. Keep it pushing. This isn't about her, my love. This is about you. And you're doing the right thing. Keep it. Because I'm going to tell you, she's the type of person, she wants what she can't have. And the more she can't have it, the more she needs to prove that she can. And this is about you having self-respect and self-love and not taking this back and moving forward, knowing there's going to be something or someone better for you. Now, okay, so she messed around with someone thinking it would be a fun little diddly do. She found out she lost you. So sometimes when people lose somebody, they have to get them back because they feel like then they weren't wrong or they didn't do anything bad or see it's not so bad they took me back in this case you just need to keep going in the direction you're going if she's still with this person and i feel like she is she will stay with this person she's not going to make that choice she just doesn't want to lose you because you brought a lot of really good benefit to her. I hope that makes sense for you. Yeah, thank you. And, and you're welcome. And here's the thing. And again, just like at the beginning of the show with Heather, I'm going to say this to you. People who do us dirty, okay, whether they think we have evidence or not, whether they think we know or not, or if we do know or not, if they're just not good to us, we don't have to be compassionate to them, okay? Our actions do not have to be compassionate to them. We can be compassionate about the fact that they are a really messed up person that makes bad choices, but we do not have to let them back in and show forgiveness and do all of these things. We can forgive whatever we need to forgive in ourselves so we can move on in peace, but taking them back 
they just do the same thing over and over and over again until they get help and they get therapy and they figure out why they took those actions in the first place. And that can't be something we tell them to do. That has to be something where they finally look in the mirror and go, you know what? I'm really, I behave like a degenerate sometimes and I hurt people with my actions and I have to figure out why I do that so I can stop doing it. And when they do that and figure that out and then they can completely change their behaviors, then maybe they can have a conversation with you. But until that time, she doesn't deserve even your airspace. I'm sorry. I'm on your team. I'm on your side. I'm on the side of, nah, we're good over here. We're good. We, we See, we can make it without you, but you can't make it without us. So you should have never done us dirty. We're solid. Go get your own solid ground. I'm sorry it's not what you skipped to. I'm sorry that grass wasn't greener. I'm sorry that pie wasn't juicier. But guess what? I'm solid. I'm good. And the next person that comes in is going to be a better person. And if I take you back, those words won't be true. Okay? And that's what you stand on. You stand for you. And you protect you. Because in a relationship... If you're loving this person and they don't know how to love, that's not your problem. You have to let them go. Because if you're loving them and they're not able to or not loving you back respectfully and caring about you and for you, you're going to be so depleted. And that is not what you deserve. You deserve mutual love, respect, and caring. Okay? Okay. And I know that it's easier to hear that um, sometimes it's easier to hear that take the person back and they've learned their lesson. And if that were the case, I would tell you that is, sweetie, that is just not the case right now, okay? That is so not the case right now. Do you feel that she'll be sorry to, you know, that she lost me and whatever? Because I'm not ever going to talk to her again. You think she'll be sorry for that? that she totally she's, me? she's sorry she got caught and she thought she was, okay. she, I'm going to tell you this. She thought she was so smart. I'm, I'm going to tell you, she's a little bit arrogant and she thought she was so smart and she's sorry she got caught and she is sorry you're not in her life because there were a lot of things you did for her. But I'm also going to tell you because she's arrogant she runs on ego and not spirit. She would do it again. She would just be smarter about yeah, it next I time. I suspected that. She would just be smarter about it next she, time. I don't know if she's with a new person, but that's on her. And here's the thing. I'm going to ask you to write her. Don't send it to her. But write a goodbye letter and then burn it and let this be the end of it. Not not in your place outside. Burn it outside. <laughs> but let this be the end of it and move on with your life. And and if she I am I am moving on. If she yeah, she doesn't know that I'm gonna mm -hmm. sell my home and leave the area. She doesn't know that. Good. Good. And don't tell anybody that might tell her. Don't don't do that, okay, love? Just Keep your private no, stuff no. private, okay? Yep. Okay, sweetie. Thank you so much I for will. calling in. Thank and you. you can call back anytime, and uh, I will give you whatever guidance I get. Okay, love? Thank you, Tony. Have a good day. You too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Cammy. Cammy wants to know, hi, Tony, will my fiance be okay for the next month or two? Thanks. Yes. I instantly hear yes. I hear yes. Yes. Everything is going to go well and be okay. That's what I am hearing, love. Okay. I'm going to go to 415. 415, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, this is Jessica from Pennsylvania. Hey, Jessica. Um, yeah. So when this 
Hey, I'm trying to make it quick. I know it's your end of the show. Um, when it's when the new moon came in yesterday, I started like a lot of emotional pain started coming up for me, mm-hmm. which I haven't felt like it feels like in a really long time. And um, I'm wondering what kind of insight you could share with that. It's basically like this longing to hear back from like business contacts I reached out to to like close deals and as well as like hearing from people and I'm like resisting I'm I, well I'm not resisting I'm just not in the mood to keep following up with people anymore like it's a really old pattern and I'm like letting it go now finally but it's it, it's bringing up this stuff for me uh, you know clearly so Okay. Just wondering what you could share and when it's going to clear. <laughs> yeah. So uncomfortable. So I'm not an astrologer and, and I only know what I hear other people say on some videos. But what I've heard about this new moon, it's in Pisces, which is extremely emotional. And the astrological new year starts with Aries, which we, I believe, are in or about to jump into Aries. So we're starting a new astrological new year meaning everything is ending and it's ending with a Pisces new moon and Pis- this Pisces new moon and depending on where this falls for you personally is supposed to be extremely emotional and extremely um, a purging of some things and significant healings can come in during this time. Now, along with this new moon, there are many other things going on. Like I believe um, Mercury is sitting in one house for two and a half months, which is pretty unheard of. And something else is sitting in in something like planets are just sitting right now. I would recommend if you if you work with new moons and planets or you want to know more about it, find somebody who's very credible online and on YouTube and look them up. Everything I have heard and personally experienced from the full moon to this new moon is complete purging and endings of things for us. Not necessarily with even other people, but Things that no longer work for us, serve us. They never worked for us or served us. Now we are able to just let that go and move forward. So everything you're saying is pretty much spot on for what they're saying with the new moon and in Pisces. And then rounding the corner, if we're not in Aries already, um, rounding the corner into Aries where... It is the astrological new year and kicking that off in a completely different way. And then uh, don't forget, we have two eclipses or an eclipse coming up in April. And this eclipse is actually hitting the U.S. Um, It's going pretty much across parts of the U.S. And that is going to continue this whole Um, clearing things out and healing things. And again, for everybody, it's going to be a little bit different depending on what your sign is and where this falls for you. But I'd really look at it and see if it matches what you're going through right now. And the one thing I would say about this is don't go against the grain. If something's clearing out, like for you, love, where, you know, you're fighting your urge to reach out to people, keep that going. Um, And allow new to come in because there are people that will come in that will be reciprocal. There will be good back and forth. And a lot of times when somebody's no longer in our energy or our life, it's it's for us. It's happening to help us and to take us to the next level and have people come in that are more in alignment with who we are now. So I would definitely say moving forward, whatever comes up, look at it, say, I see you, have a nice trip and let it go. Uh, you're, you are pretty spot on with the way you're feeling. And I feel like a lot of people are feeling that this, this whole weekend and they'll f- be feeling it through the next week. So thank you so much for sharing that. Mm, thank you. So there's not like 
Besides all of the astrology stuff, I mean, is there anything like specific that like I need to know or something? I mean, I know you went through a lot of that. I'm just saying like psychically. What the one thing I would say to you is definitely don't be the person who is grabbing on is is what they're showing me like. Like, okay, so what they're showing me is you feel like, and maybe you don't feel like this, but the analogy or the vision that I'm getting is you're trying to grab onto things that might be from the past or might be whatever they are, however you would want to describe them, um, to hold on to it. But if you don't grab on, if you don't reach out, if you if you let go, you can use your arms as wings. Okay? So that's what they're showing me. So where you want to kind of tether yourself or have that security or that connection, just let go and instead fly in a new direction. And I know... That it, I see what they're trying to say, and hopefully I'm conveying this correctly. And again, it goes back to if you don't reach into the past, you'll be sprung forward and there will be new connections, new people that match you where you are energetically, business, personal, everything, friendship, everything. So allow... Mm -hmm all that energy to drip off you. It's like taking off um, as we head into spring, taking off those big toxic winter coats filled with dirty snow or however we want to say that, just taking them off and letting them melt and drip down the, the sewer way is what I'm getting. So then as you do that, you will then be able to fly forward into almost into arms or into people that are ready for new healthier relationships also with you does that does that help you love yeah i like it i like the visual so, okay. yeah, that is helpful. Thank you. You are so, yeah. so welcome. And thank you so much for calling in. And I, I I know sometimes I will give a message and I kind of give it, it's meant for you. And the way I'm saying it is meant for you. But the way I give it might sound a little vague. And there is purpose behind that. Number one, sometimes that's just the way spirit brings it through. And I can't, I can't uh, change the way spirit brings things through me. And it is meant for that particular person. And if I have to re restate some things to make it a little, to make it understood better, it's still going to be the same message, but seconds. it will be just understood just a little bit better for that person and personally. But sometimes also not everybody's supposed to know what this means to the person receiving the message. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. I will be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. I'm so grateful for everyone who was here with me through this whole time. I'm so grateful for you taking this journey. And I look forward seconds. to Wednesday at 7 p.m. Thank you so much. Have an absolutely amazing rest of the day.